So what I'd like to turn to is um, Ponce de Leon. And kind of what, where do you see if the, the future of Ponce de Leon Health and what is kind of the mission? Will you be expanding beyond uh, AKG? And what are you, where is the next steps? Well, there's lots of next steps. Um, <laughs> Uh, the future, I see great success. I mean, I wouldn't be the CEO if I felt that this was really going to be a, a you know, an, an astonishing uh, failure. But um, in terms of products, uh, there are several things that we find intriguing. You know, for example, um, you know, if you live longer or think you are going to live longer, wouldn't you want, you know, Fluffy, your dog or your cat to live longer? And so we think there's a very big opportunity in pets. Um, we also think there's a very big opportunity in livestock. And so, you know, for example, there was a publication in China recently showing that AKG extended ovarian function in mice. So if you can preserve fertility, then maybe you can preserve egg laying capacity in chickens, milk production in cattle. Uh, we already know in several animal models that it increases muscles strength and bone strength. And so production of meat uh, could be increased. So everything from aquaculture to pigs, cattle, chicken, even horse racing, bova, or, uh, you know, the equine market is of interest. And so these are things that we don't have any particular expertise in. And so we're looking at partnering uh, with uh, a few people that have expressed interest. So, um, and then we've been approached by several global branded uh, product companies who are waiting to see our clinical trial data. And if that data or future data uh, would suggest that what we make is safe and effective, then they might have an interest in putting it in their food products or their drink products. And so, you know, we envision possibly everything from a longevity bar to you know, a longevity drink, uh, energy drink, um, and junk food might become longevity food. So, you know, there's a lot of interesting opportunities um, if this is uh, successful, uh, because again, more is probably better. And uh, being able to supplement from multiple sources is likely to be beneficial because nobody is gonna swallow, you know, a fistful of pull pills a day unless they really are you know, very into uh, longevity. And so for the general population, being able to get uh, a, a small dose of uh, rejuvenant in multiple sources is probably a very good thing. And so there are some people who are curious about that that currently are globally branded consumer product companies. And so we you know, will continue to explore that as well. But you know, fundamentally, if you take money from investors, they have this terribly unusual habit of wanting it back plus a lot more. And so my job is to create a liquidity event. And you know, there are two ways to do that, basically. One is to sell the company, and the, the other is to uh, take it public or be merged into a public entity. And so you know, I find SPACs interesting. Um, you know, I'd have been around the uh, healthcare industry for decades and SPACs have been around for a long time and they don't necessarily have a fabulous reputation, but they are an interesting and unique vehicle because, you know, if you and I started a company and we were building sales and we thought, gosh, we're going to take it public, you know, um, a, a traditional IPO process uh, doesn't allow you to talk about the future. You have to talk about the past. And longevity has no past. It's a very uh, young industry. And so um, basically you have a company that's a shell that's already public and they acquire uh, an asset like PBLH, for example. And when they acquire the asset, they've already talked about the past, which is nothing. People wouldn't have, they bought into the idea of a shell hoping that they'd find something that was interesting. But with the acquisition, you can then talk about the acquisition and the acquisition's plans. So then you can talk about the future. And longevity is a future story, right? Mm. Um, it, it is an exciting area that uh, 
I, I think will fuel the imagination of both retail investors as well as uh, professional investors. Um, LP, so you, uh, you have an opportunity with that type of a exit that might be more attractive. I think we will also see some m and uh, interest. And so, you know, my job is to try and create that opportunity and uh, make money for my existing investors, but also make money for uh, whoever might be an owner in the future. And that's what I've been doing most of my professional career. Right, Excellent. Uh, that sounds very exciting. Um, I mean, the, the expansion into other areas as well. Uh, so would you be able to share your personal protocol for health and longevity? Right. So um, I would suggest, you know, what I do is obviously I take rejuvent. Mm -hmm. um, I also take a folate supplement because I do have uh, one half of the MTHFR gene variant. Although I was a good responder before, I've become a better responder. Um, I also do intermittent fasting. And so I try and eat, you know, within a six hour time period. And I have found that that combination, taking rejuvenate with intermittent fasting, allows me to lead a lifestyle which most people would find problematic. You know, I, I have junk food every day for lunch. I, I, I drink wine almost every day, whether I need to or not, and I rarely exercise. And so my blood work, however, is phenomenal. That doesn't mean I'm going to live longer, but a cardiologist would tell you I probably am going to live longer. And, you know, uh, obviously I take rejuvenate. So I take two pills in the morning and I typically take one around lunch. Um, and, you know, and that's pretty much what I do. I do a little bit of experimenting because I'm constantly trying to find something that is additive that might represent uh, Rejuvent 2.0. Um, but other than that, um, you know, I try and reduce stress and have as much fun as I possibly can. Right. Yeah, no, that sounds good. And I'm with you on the wine. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so one last question. So if people want to, um, you know, they want to sign up, they, they want to try the product. So where can they find out more information and where can they do that? Yeah. So the easiest thing to do is just to go to rejuvent.com you know, which is R-E-J-U-V-A-N-T.com. And uh, you, you can order one bottle uh, if you'd like to try it. Although I would say that it's hard to see much of an effect with one bottle. Uh, you might, usually about three months, most people will see an effect. Or you can go on subscription, uh, which you can cancel anytime. And any product you have that you decide you don't want to use and you want to stop, you can just return it. And we'll give you a full refund. Uh, but the subscription just allows us to auto ship it and gives you the best uh, possible price, uh, which I think is 109 if you're in the United States. And you get a DNA methylation kit uh, to start with, which is $100 value. And then if you're still on it six months later, we send you another one at no additional cost, you know, which is another $100 value. And so that represents the best uh, deal, if you wish. And from our perspective, you know, we would very much like to see you uh, measure what's going on because there are no other products that I'm aware of um, that are commercially available that you can take and uh, show a reduction that is statistically significant uh, in biologic age. And that, in my opinion, is the gold standard that everything really needs to be measured against. If it doesn't have an effect, um, it, it might be very useful for, for a chronic issue. You know, as I'd mentioned before, people take uh, supplements for all kinds of reasons. And, you know, a lot of them are very good reasons. But if your interest is, is not an acute, but chronic, i.e. lifespan and health span, there aren't many things, actually nothing else that, I, that I'm aware of that can show you a reduction in biologic age, you know, that is commercially available. Right. Okay, thank you. I, I mean, and, and yeah, I li like having a test before and after is always good. That kind of, to, to actually see the result is, is great. Yeah, and even if, even if you can't get a test before, you know, most of our data suggests that your biologic age is usually within three years. 
two to three years of what your chronologic age is, a little above, a little below. And so even if you didn't, even if you didn't get a chance to do it before, um, you know, you should take one now, or if you start taking the product, take one in four to six months. Um, and if you see a reduction or, or a movement that's more than two or three years, you're having an effect, you're a responder. Right. Excellent. Thank you. Good advice. So, Tom, thank you so much uh, for staying up, well, staying late and uh, talking with us today. And uh, hopefully we can talk again in the future when some of the trials come out. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Feel free to reach out. I would love to talk to you again. It's been okay. enjoyable. Okay. Thank you very much, Tom.